It's a case study on break-even point. Let me read out the question. From the following data, calculate break-even point expressed in terms of uh, sale amount or revenue. And question 2, the number of units that must be sold to earn a profit of rupees 60,000. Okay, so two questions. One, you have to compute break-even point. Number two, you have to find out the number of units you should sell to make a profit of 60,000 per year. And the data that are available are this. Selling price per unit is 20. Variable manufacturing cost per unit is 11. Variable selling cost per unit is 3. And fixed factory overhead per year is 5,40,000. Fixed selling cost per year is 2,52,000. So here is a question. First, question 1, BEP. Question 2, number of units that should be sold to make a profit of 60,000. So first of all, what is break-even point? It is the level of sales at which you don't make any profit and you don't suffer any loss also. It means that is the level at which your contribution is going to be equal to fixed cost. And that is the reason you are not going to make any profit or you are not going to suffer any loss. Okay. Now let's, let's see how to proceed. Computation of break-even point. So what is our understanding? At break-even point, profit is going to be zero. Why profit is zero? Because the contribution, what is contribution? Sales minus variable cost, right? That contribution exactly covers your fixed cost. So from contribution, if you subtract fixed cost, you get nothing, it is zero. So we call it as break even point. So C minus FC is equal to zero, which you can also rewrite as, you can shift this minus FC to the right hand side. So you get C is equal to FC. That is contribution is equal to fixed cost at break even point. At this juncture, let us apply one of the understanding we have. See, we know what is PV ratio, right? What is PV ratio? It's very simple. Contribution divided by sales is nothing but PV ratio. Okay. I can rewrite this also. That is, instead of uh, saying contribution by sales is equal to PV ratio, I can also say contribution is equal to PV ratio into sales. Correct? Both are one and the same. Contribution is equal to PV ratio multiplied by sales. So if I rewrite in that pattern, this is what I get. Contribution is sales into PV ratio. Now, if I apply this over here, that is if I replace C with the sales into PV ratio, what I get? Sales multiplied by PV ratio is equal to fixed cost okay and what sales we are concerned about now we are concerned about break-even sales okay so break-even sales into pv ratio is equal to fixed cost it means my break-even sales is nothing but fixed cost divided by pv ratio so this is the formula which we can have for deriving break-even sales very simple formula break-even sales is nothing but fixed cost divided by pv ratio if you have this automatically you will be able to find out what is break-even sales Okay, so now our task is find out what is the total fix, fixed cost, find out what is PV ratio, automatically we will be able to find out break even sale. In the question you are given fixed factory overhead per year is 5,40,000, then fixed selling cost per year is 2,52,000. So if you add these two, you are going to get what is your total fixed cost. So let's capture that fixed cost is equal to 5,40,000 plus 2,52,000. So what we get as fixed cost is 7,92,000. This is the requirement number one. That is numerator. We got it. Okay. Second, we have to find out PV ratio. What is PV ratio? PV ratio is nothing but contribution divided by sales. What is contribution? First of all, contribution means sales minus variable cost. What is the selling price per unit? We have 20. And what is the variable cost? We have variable manufacturing cost plus variable selling cost both put together 11 plus 3 14 okay so our contribution s minus vc is nothing but 20 minus vc which is 11 plus 3 so 20 minus 14 6 is the contribution and the denominator is sales that is sales price per unit okay which is 20 so 6 divided by 20 you get contribution is 30 percentage uh, i mean the pv ratio when you express it in the ratio, you can write it as 0 0.30, okay? You can write it as 0 0.30. So now you got two critical information for finding out the break-even sale. One is fixed cost. The other one is PV ratio. Now applying in the formula. What is the formula? Break-even sales is fixed cost by PV ratio. Fixed cost is this 
seven lakh ninety two thousand PV ratio is this point three zero seven lakh ninety two thousand divided by point three zero you get twenty six lakh forty thousand this twenty six lakh forty thousand is your break even sale the second question is you have to find out how many units should be sold so that profit of 60000 can be achieved okay so from contribution if you subtract fixed cost you want that profit to be 60000 how many units have to be sold let's see what is the expected profit expected profit is equal to 60000 that is from contribution contribution can also be written as sales into pv ratio which we have seen just now okay so from this contribution if you deduct fixed cost you want the profit to be 60000 so this i am reducing it as contribution c from contribution c if you deduct the fixed cost of 792000 that is this is 792000 from c if you deduct 792000 you should get 60000 so what is this c it is very simple shift this 792000 to right hand side so 60000 plus 792 you get contribution is equal to 852000 but this is not answering our question the question is how many units have to be sold to get the profit of 60000 see this contribution of 852000 is in terms of amount okay and if you want to know how many units have given this contribution it's very simple take this contribution divided by contribution per unit divided by contribution per unit so that you will know how many units have given the contribution and contribution units and sales units will be same okay so we know contribution per unit already we have calculated from selling price of 20 minus variable cost of 11 minus 3 so 20 minus 14 contribution per unit is 6 so we can find out how many units are sold to get this contribution number of units to achieve profit of 60000 to get this contribution is 852000 which is a contribution divided by 6 per unit so it is 142000 units so the answer is this company should sell 142000 units to achieve this target profit of 60000